When you are not familiar with spawning shells with LR, leave now. Uh oh. Don't know why, but here I am. I'm trying to play a shell hack. It's by Galashko. Now it's had some history, some version history. We'll check it out. Um, oh, it looks like it was first released in January, but there's a, a new version now. So it's nine exits, it is intermediate, and it's by Galashko, who has made uh, just this, and they're from Germany. Um, so Yoshi had a leak in his boat, the boat sank, and he found himself on a lonely island. Just shells, 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 shells. Shell hack, neither too hard nor too easy for an advanced Kaizo player. The point of this hack are shell jumps. Do not be surprised if there are a lot of them. So version two has some changes. Um, Big store changed unfair setups, fixed cheese potentials, and yeah, some little tweaks and things here and there. Two votes of a five gives it a five. Lovely title screen. Got Yoshi's camp at the start. Uh, okay, we play as a pink Yoshi. Lots of 1F zeros, lots of shells. We got some arrows. This seems good. What? That's a sprite killer, I guess, right? Because how else would I get through here? Unless I have to grab that little thing. Oh, you're probably going to grab... Oh, who knows? Who knows what it is? Uh, many shells. Uh, is it, what is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, yep. Yeah. Key. A key. All right. So some hands-free shell stuff. A switch palace with one of those shells that has the eyes on it. That means that you can bounce on it infinitely. Uh, some more shells here. Cool bone. And there we go. So, uh, no comments. Let's have a look at the previous release to make sure that we're not missing out on some cool comments. Blackheart loved it. Adjust the, so someone's making suggestions about things being unfair. Uh, Kid Moya had tons of fun and the difficulty was just right. Derv, fun shell hack with unique setups. Setups are forgiving, uh, good aesthetic music graphics, not too long, hands didn't hurt afterwards, well made hack. Okay, well, there you go. Let's have a look, three islands of shells. It's just three islands. And there's uh, that Mario 64 song that we all love from Mario 64. Let's play solo or co-op. I think we'll go solo quest on three islands of shells. Wow. Oh, got to do a shell jump into the title screen. Wow. Hold left. After Yoshi had a leak in his boat, the boat sank and Yoshi found himself on a lonely island. Only thing you like from SM64 is the music. Look, there's a couple of bangers. There's at least two songs that I can think of. Maybe three. So then you got Bob on Battlefield. You got Die Die Docks or like Jolly Roger Bay, whatever you want to call it. And then you've got the slide music. That's all I remember. Oh, I guess the the Bowser one, right? The Bowser song is pretty cool. Anyway, Yoshi's Camp. No, no moon run back. I'd, you only need to beat games once and then you can put them away. This is Yoshi's camp. After being stranded on this little island, he wants to know more about where he is, and he starts an adventure. Remember, in this hack, items do not collide with items in your hand. Items do not collide with items in your hand. Okay, so no shell jank, I guess. Let's go to Dinosaur Meadow. Let's get ready to shell. They really don't collide with things in your hand. All right, interesting. Where do I spawn? Right there. Okay, cool. Been hearing mixed reviews, huh? Well, if Fry and B likes it, it's probably cool, I guess. What was I to do with that shell? Pokemon Stadium, man, yeah, the, the game collector thing, it's kind of dumb. Oh, okay, yeah, if you ask me. Okay. So, okay, we're throwing that in and getting on it, all right. doing there? Am I carrying that over? 
Yeah, you see, like, you can't really use that shell. A bit awkward to have a, a two-tile space to be doing this sort of stuff in, though. So there, that's as far as I've gotten. I, that, not, that setup doesn't actually work correctly. I don't get that one at all. There we go. I did it. I don't know what I did to make it so it works. Whatever this thing is. You know, it's... So the, the bottom one has to be a throw. The top one's got to be a bop. Right? I think that's the trick. Alright, now I've got to figure out how to get over there in time. Oh, there we go. That's, uh, that's what that move is. You get almost to the end. Could have, you could have just had the goal um, on the other side of the pipe. You're allowed to do that. Alright, cool. I'm just taking stock of my black D-pad rubbers. There's a way to tell if I've used them before. I think these ones are not used. Yeah, I think I, I think I got two. I'm not going to be able to do a full clean, but hey, I can at least open it. Oh my god, it's all the, all the crud over the screw holes. Yeah, I'm just I'm just here taking apart my controller. We'll we'll see what kind of condition this one's in because I just it's going to be a I, I'm going to be so annoyed at the up throws if I don't fix it. I might just I might also just quickly rotate the ABXY because that um you can rotate those 180 degrees. Remember, if you're doing screws up on something that has the plastic screw bosses, make sure to back, you put apply some pressure with the screwdriver and rotate it backwards until you hear the click, and then you can start screwing forwards. Otherwise, you may accidentally cross thread those plastic screw things. It feels very, very stiff now. Super, super stiff rubbers. Just put the screwdriver stuff away. We're back. Very stiff D pad. Let's move on. We got uh, deep in the forest. Oh my god. I thought, hang on, what? What is this? Alright, I think I sound... Oh, this is a very unconventional setup, isn't it? I don't know what the how to use the green shell. No, this is dumb. Because you can do that, but then I need... I need two shells on that side. Oh, hang on, I'm dumb. There's two up arrows. There's two up arrows. That's, that's all, all my problem. Okay. So what do you what do you do there? Uh, I meant to pause there, but I accidentally grab select. So I don't I don't get any of that. That's it. That's 
own that's all there is in that section oh there's a rare hey there's two exits yay we're back where would there even be a secret exit it's gonna be really hard to keep an eye out when you've got to like keep an eye on the shells at all times Probably get up to the Cooper and on-off blocks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I could get up there. I'm gonna try the concrete block thing again. Let's do the off-screen, the off-screen springboard shell jump. Secret. It's a green switch. Just an up throw, I guess. What is the timing for that up throw? So let me think about that. We're, uh, we're going to be doing Yoshi stuff, right? I gotta get my finger around for the X button. So I've recently been using X for all Yoshi Tongue stuff. But it's gonna be too awkward, I think. Oh no, okay, we're done with Yoshi. Alright, that's fine. That's just one of those moves, but the wrong direction. So I have to somehow bop it to the right? Or like just skip that shell and just do a Yoshi ditch up into that? It might be hard. I did it the first try though, by accident. Oh, I didn't know what kind of shell jump that one was. Now we know. Back shot. All right. All right. I'm surprised at how cheesable that section is. That you don't need to do that the Yoshi tongue thing, and that it wasn't picked up by anyone yet. trick here. Go back. Follow the arrows. The arrows are correct. The arrows are incorrect, actually. Okay, Switch Palace. Progress saved. What is that? What is he spraying out? There's a save. Alright, what's in Desert Island? Another one. Alright, we got hot shells. These are some hot shells. Point of advice don't step on the sand, it is hot.
Look at that. And get my hand off the B button for a second. Alright. I love it. Yeah, what the hell do I do here? I'm dead. Oh, you hit it from this side. Ah. Uh, spin. Alright. Welcome. It's shells. There's only shells. Oh, okay. What what are we doing? What what is this? Oh, okay. It bounces up. All right. Understood. All right. Shell. What is it? Into an up pipe. All right. Well. Okay. Cool. Please, up pipe, up pipe, up pipe. No, there it is. I'm a freaking idiot. Remember what we were just talking about with regards to the sand hurting you? Maybe that's why there's munches everywhere, so that you forget about it. I think a lot went into that ending troll. Gotta appreciate the hustle. Let's not derp it up this time. There we go. <sighs> level, uh, level five? Exit five? One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is going to be the fifth one. GG! Okay, Lapis Lazuli Cavern. This has two exits. We've got to keep an eye out. Oh my god. Why is the start like that? That's disgusting, dude. Level inspired by Cat Makes. Shout out. Cat's cool. Dude, I hate the start of this. Looks weird. weird. Saw the secret exit. It was visible this time. Get the checkpoint. Holy crap. I was about to not get it. Okay, bop it on the way up. Let's get the checkpoint every time. Sus key move there. Hmm. He's changing his level for 1.1, really? Wonder why. Probably a lot of feedback about people that don't like the, the grab block jumps. I feel like I'm not the only one that struggled with them. Was a tough level. There we go. Keen hole. It's a short section. Let's look at the yellow switch. Uh. Ah, okay, we're opening it up. Oh, it's green wraps? Jesus. When do you go? You don't go straight away. 
Ah, oh, I think I know what I do. I have to, I have to shell jump off this. Yeah, okay. What if I, I do go straight away? And just, uh, yeah, all right. to know to let go jump there. <laughs> Alright, I guess I hit the on-off switch at the wrong time after everything lined up super well. So bam, bam, then, then go. Okay, I saw it that time. Not the Switch Palace Troll is just an enemy right at the end. <sighs> All right, let's have a look at Lapis Lazuli Cavern again. I already found the secret exit. Oh, that's right. It starts with this thing. Grab that one. Damn it. A whole bunch of extra moves I just did. Because they were freebies. They weren't weird stuff. But now I know. one that one but hey once again once you work it out once you've seen everything and you know all the inputs it's fine all right what do we got here we got shells in heaven that one what was I doing there I need to up the... oh what is no what is that next move though maybe no I won't be too bad it's a it's a yeah all right it's fine That was way too early. Okay, well, damn. Oh, that's it. 
And it looks like that might be the end too. I swear I saw some um, some ground to stand on. That's so good. There we go. Sorted. It's tricky to just get the hands to get the right inputs. Oh no, it's a shell level. It's Boo's Castle. Oh, we got nine. There you go. So I've done nine levels. There's nine exits in the game, so we've done nine exits, but obviously there's, um, there's another castle to look at. It's Boo's Castle. I wonder if this will end in a boo fight. I wonder if this is just a boo fight. This is the last chance to give up. When you are not familiar with spawning sh wait. When you are not familiar with spawning shells with LR, leave now. Uh-oh. It's one of those things. Yikes. I thought, um, I thought we'd done all the hard stuff, you know, but now we've got to do spawning shells. That's meant to be an up. It's just, uh, like most of the levels, it's got that thing where you spawn into the level and you have to be doing all the moves immediately, which I find very difficult. It's a little much. Honestly, it's a little much. Alright, and then, okay, cool. <laughs> totally. You just keep chucking shells. <laughs> it's, it's absurd. It's... So there's nothing, yeah, so it's, uh, it's got to be like an up. Pausing, uh-oh, I've been busted by the pause cops. Hey, Fazy. You definitely, you got to pull back for that so much. My L, I couldn't press the L button, damn it. Never gotten that back shot. Pro 2? Yeah, the thing with the Pro 2. The Pro 2. Hang on a sec. Is this the Pro 2? Yeah, this is the Pro 2. One of these, one of these things, right? This is the Pro 2. I got one of those a little while back. One thing that's weird about these is the these buttons are like smaller. They're smaller than a SNES controller. Have I talked about this before? How like they're smaller and they're closer together. It's uh it's sort of weird, right? Because I gotta fit the sticks on, or whatever. That's okay. I use it for like testing in for when I'm doing Lunar Magic stuff. I use it just for testing, and it's you know you can't get used to it. It's fine. It doesn't have the best D-pad, but it's you know, it's good to test with a less than ideal controller. I think. I'm sure the fever was one aspect. Oh come on, man. Oh, I don't know. That's okay. That's PB. I had never done the back shot before. And I don't, man, I don't know what I saw there. That was it. That's the whole thing. Oh no. What am I doing here? Excuse me?
Oh, I can't, I can't spawn a shell anymore. All right. Okay. It's gone. What? Oh. Ah, okay. Well, hang on a sec. Can I hold the shell? Oh, you can hold the shell. Items do not collide with items in your hand. Okay. Alright, so we just gotta work that out. Alright, I thought that the shell was gonna interact with the, um, the one I'm bouncing on. Alright. So we gotta, like, bounce it up. Oh no, no, okay. We're just gonna... Sorry, I thought I had to grab the shell it's falling. Oh no, we're just gonna drop it on this nerd's head. Alright, easy. If I can up throw. Yeah. So the only thing I need to do is get into the um that little bucket thing on the right. Oh no, I lost my shell. We have crap emotes. But I put up a new one today. I was editing a video. Thanks for the content. Hey, no worries. I was <laughs> I was editing my playthrough of Luminescent today. Um, and I got to the, um, the part where it's the, <laughs> where it's the, the flight level, where you always have P-Speed, and so you're always taking off, and I pulled this dumb face that was just like, I'm disgusted at this. Anyway, it's an emote now. I mean, it's just gonna be three hits. This is a, this is a boo boss. We know how these work. Oh my god. You gotta get these nice straight up throws. There we go, that's two. Okay. Just set up for the third. It's right there. No, it's not right there, actually. Oh, it's it's this one in my hand. Oh, wow. What a friggin' genius. You gotta make sure your throws are very straight. Oh, uh, there's definitely some challenging aspects to it. I don't need to give myself a hard time. The level's done enough of that for me. Alright, so that's two hits. Blue switch. Get the throw. Get in the hole. Almost messed it up again, because I let go of the jump button when I let go of the shell. I'm so glad that wasn't a super tough, grindy boss fight. That's the best thing that you could have. GG. There we go. There's credits. Two hours 40 to do nine levels and then, you know, three hours to do that last level plus boss. Three Islands of Shells. We've got the Fleo Fushed Moon Joker's Dream OK and Rayback for testing. My God, what a level. What a rom. <laughs> Every, yeah, what a level, I guess is what I should say. The rest of the rom was very tough. That last one was very, very difficult.